I think 2019 is going to bring the year of some breakthroughs in how we engage customers and bring them into the process. Um, we've clearly um, had some groundbreaking work done to make our grids more modern, uh, to decarbonize, uh, to have the right visions of getting to greener um, forms of energy and, and truly greener societies. Um, I think getting customers to see the benefit of some of these technologies and really engage is something that consumers have wanted more of. Yeah. Uh, but I think we're going to actually see some breakthroughs in uh, utilities doing more uh, to give customers the, the benefits and some tangible uh, things for them to be part of the process. Um, so I think the era of the real prosumer is, is what we will see some traction uh, made in 2019. It's been interesting that there's been so much focus um, even in the, the, the couple of hours that the event has been open around really engaging and focusing yeah. on the customer. It's a, a huge shift from yep. five, ten years ago. Yes, I did. That inspired me. I, I think we're talking about the right thing and we're recognizing that it's the consumers, whether they be individual residential customers that we are, but also as owners of buildings, owners of campus, you know, those that run campuses and urban development, how we bring everyone into the mix, um, that we're really expanding the stakeholder group of what it's going to take to really, um, you know, create um, a, a, a more sustainable energy future. In 2019, um, I think we're seeing a lot of uh, trials and proof of concepts and things like this coming up. Uh, so in the, in, in the temporary, in 2019, we're going to see this kind of fracturing, even greater fracturing of energy markets, where you get these modularization kind of pools of development. Is it an electric vehicle trial in this region and a local energy trial in this region? We're going to see so many new ideas of things we can trade, not least energy and grid services, but also data. Um, and I, I think we'll see lots and lots of different pockets of innovation there and lots of ideas come through. To see even more uh, information, more connectivity, things will be more and more connected and uh, we are going to ask more real-time information and more real-time decisions mm -hmm. and uh, to achieve this what I can see for the next year uh, is a huge increase of the role of uh, artificial intelligence in order to use in a useful way all these real-time data delivering useful decisions for our lives. And when we talk to a sector specific concern like energy, next year will be the, the real beginning of the energy transition. And for energy transition we for sure have in the digitalization one of our main drives. And so the same applies to the energy. We will go further with digitalization, with uh, connectivity, uh, real-time um, information and real-time decision that will be delivered for by artificial intelligence, by combination of artificial intelligence and um, uh, uh, telecommunication and uh, a new generation of um, uh, telecommunications networks. So my prediction is really that the industry will focus on making digitalization happen. So we have been speaking a lot about it. I know that a lot of the companies are actually realizing now first examples, really showing getting proof points, but also lighthouses for the business to get the buy-in of the people and really go on. I know of companies who are actually saying we want to have all our processes digitalized and they have specific KPIs on it, so how much often, how often do we use paper, how often do, are we actually changing from digital to, to others, uh, other media, and this is, I think, a really good KPI to see uh, how all processes, really starting from, from internal processes to customer processes to operations in the grid, that these are all interlinked. It will take longer than 2019 to get that uh, vision happening. The way the energy networks are foreseen to work in the future is to have an integrated view of energy networks. So we have uh, electricity networks together with gas networks, heat networks, transportation networks, and all this interacting and providing an optimized operation of the whole energy system. Of course, uh, electricity network will be the, the backbone of this 
operation. In that sense, the electricity sector has a central role in this transition. And, uh, as a, and uh, <coughs> data is very important for this electricity operation today, in the complex environment that electricity networks are called to operate. Uh, data are important for all parts of our business, from planning, operation, management, uh, uh, asset management, uh, customer profile, customer service, etc. So I believe that the electricity sector is perhaps one of the most important areas where all the digital uh, evolution, all the digital achievements today can be applied for the benefit of the operation, the benefit of the customer.